Hello, my name is Boyd McBacon, and I'm with PPL Motorhomes in Houston, Texas. And today we're talking to Colin Nawasa. Colin is the generator sales manager with Yamaha Corporation. He's been in our dealership all day today, giving us uh, some training on the Yamaha inverter generators. Thanks for coming in, Colin. Can you tell us a little bit about the generators? Thank you. Thank you for having me, Boyd. These are Yamaha generators. Yamaha is, has always been known for quality and uh, durability, but uh, now Yamaha is also also known for value. What, I, what do I mean by that? I mean Yamaha has the longest emission compliance rating in the industry. If you look at the emissions compliance label, you'll see that the Yamaha generators are rated for extended use, and what that means is Yamaha's engine life is twice as long as Honda's. So you can see that Yamaha is a much, much better value. The retail price is about the same as Honda's, but the engine life is twice as long. Yeah. And Honda's, uh, we get a lot of questions that in our dealership. Honda's the, the one Yamaha is typically compared to. And if we compare it to a lot of the other generators that are in the same class, I think it's probably four times as long as far as the value of a Yamaha compared to the other one. So the emissions rating is telling us that it's just a great value as far as the longevity of the unit itself. What are some of the other features about the generator? Well, there's, there's some really great convenience features for the, for the customer. On the Honda, it does not have a fuel gauge, so if you want to see how much gas you have left, you have to t shut off the generator, take off the gas cap, pull out the screen, look inside and get your flashlight, see how much gas is there. Right, right. Kind of primitive. But with the Yamaha, all you do is look down and look at the gas gauge instantly, see if you have, if you have to refuel it or not. Another convenience feature is that Yamaha has an independent gasoline pet cop. Stale fuel in the carburetor is the number one number problem. One. Number one problem for, for generators. With the Yamaha, you can shut the gas off, let the generator run, let it run out of gas, and you have no residual gasoline in the carburetor. Right. Here in the shop, we repair generators all the time, and the majority of the issues we have are just carburetors that are gummed up and fouled up we end up charging several hundred dollars to fix those issues. With this generator that has one that you can run all of that fuel out of that carburetor so you don't have those issues. Tell us a little bit more, Tom. Thank you, Boyd. Yes, yes that's a, a big money saver. Also, Yamaha's engine design, we use a push rod engine design, whereas Honda uses an overhead cam design. Now that overhead cam is a, is a good design. The problem is that they use a rubber timing belt for that uh, overhead cam. And when the rubber timing belt wears and breaks, it's a two, $200 to $400 repair for that generator. And you're talking about a generator that retails for about $1,000. So when that happens, it's pretty much a, a throwaway. It's not worth it at that point in time. So those are a lot of the features that set Yamaha apart from some of the other generators out there. Um, this is the 2000 watt version of the generator. 2000 watt, 16 amps. Right. And that's probably one of the most popular selling items that you have. The, this EF2000 is our number one seller. Right. And then what we have here is we have a 3000 and I think you have a 2400 watt that's in between these two, right? That's right, boy. The 2400 watt by itself will run a high efficiency 13.5 um, BTU air conditioner. Right. And then a 3000 is going to run the same type of air conditioner and maybe a 1000 watt microwave at that point is what I heard? Exactly. The 3000 with the power boost will run the 13.5 and the 1000 watt microwave. And then most RV, RVers at this point, they can also choose two 2000 watts and daisy chain them together. Is that correct? That's right. It, it sounds kind of goofy to use two generators to run an uh, RV with an air conditioner rather than one. But by running two little air conditioners, I mean two little generators that weigh 44 pounds a piece, it's very, very portable. Whereas if you had one generator that had a 30 amp capacity, it would be in the 150, 200 pound range. Right. So by taking two little generators, you have a very, very good portability. Right. So you purchase the two generators and then I think we have a cable that you put together and on the end of that cable is an actual 30 amp plug that you can plug your 30 amp motorhome into and they just plug right in 
It's uh, very simple to do, very easy. Three plugs and you're, and you're done. I think one last thing I want to show you is how quiet these generators are. I, I was really surprised we were actually outside running them and we could still talk and hear each other. Go ahead and start that up and let's listen to it. At first it's a little bit louder and then once it catches up, it tones down quite a bit. I'm basically speaking at the normal tone that I was talking before we started the generator. And as you can tell, there's hardly no difference between now and then. So overall, I think this is a great line. We've got the four or five things that set the Yamaha apart from all the competitors. And we have a bunch of different lines that you can choose from. And I appreciate you coming in and talking to us, Tom. Thanks. Thank you for having me, boy.